Good afternoon and welcome to the 2024 Okaloosa Schools Academic Tournament. This year we have six schools from Okaloosa County going head to head in a double elimination tournament format. These standout students will be displaying their knowledge of math, science, history, fine arts and literature, pop culture and more to determine our tournament champion for 2024. I'm your host and moderator, Stella Versweivelt. Lisa Nall will be our timekeeper and scorekeeper, while Howard White and Terry Wade will serve as our chief judges and make the decisions on all things official. Howard White is a retired engineer. The first half of his career, he studied explosion effects on protective structures for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in Mississippi. In 2002, he moved to Eglin and worked at the Air Force Research Laboratory researching various ordnance technologies. He retired in 2020 after a 37-year career with the Department of Defense. Terry Wade is a native of Niceville, Florida and graduated from Niceville High School and received a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering at the University of South Alabama. He has a 31-year career primarily designing fielded radio frequency and digital products. He works on Eglin Air Force Base at the j -Prums facility, an RF anechoic chamber for aircraft electronic warfare testing. His current design is a Cognitive Electronic Warfare Receiver. Today's teams are from Fort Walton Beach High School and Choctahatchee High School. We're going to take a quick break to hear from our other different Okaloosa County schools and we'll be back shortly to introduce our team members. Stay tuned. I chose to come to Collegiate High School because you get free college and your high school diploma at the same time and that's the best opportunity for any high school student. I wanted to grow as an individual and so I decided to move here to not be grouped into these different categories that you'd find in like traditional high schools. I came to Collegiate because I wanted to get used to college work and uh, just being in a college environment before I actually move on to um, a bigger university. The thing that makes Collegiate High different from other schools in Okaloosa County is that we're a small school. Uh, students that attend the Collegiate High School are not just a number. We know students by name because of the small school atmosphere. So what's, what's great about this school is that uh, all the faculty are here to help you. They want them to excel in their academic life and personal life. At the other schools, I, I felt like I wasn't quite being challenged enough in all the fields, but here, here it's like, you know, you have teachers that, that teach you well, and they teach you what's going to be applied in the future. Many students think that if you go to collegiate, you can't play sports, you can't be in music, you can't be a high school student, but I still went to homecoming. I still went to the football games. I had fun with all my friends. And collegiate doesn't take that away from you. It adds on to your amazing personality. In order to be successful at collegiate high school, motivation, student motivation. You have to be academically motivated because you'll be academically challenged. But when you go to a university, they'll see that you're dedicated and you're willing to take the course load that you'll be taking. Let's say if you come, come, one thought. <laughs> this thought is that you are unstoppable. Because if you come here thinking, you know, there's gonna be too much work, there will be. It's, it's not an easy school, it's a tough school. But you're gonna come and if you come thinking that nothing will stop, you, you will be successful and you will be a college student. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and introduce our coaches and team members for today's match. From Fort Walton Beach High School, our coach is Aurelia Bunescu, and the team members are... Alessandro Chavrin, Senior. William Kiker, Junior. Isaac Noah, Junior. Elijah Patrick, Senior. And from Choctahatchee High School, our coach is Elizabeth Crandall, and our team members are... Asher Newcomer, Ninth Grade. Thomas Carrenti, Senior. AJ Burnich, Sophomore. Ali Dantine, 10th grade. And we'll proceed on with toss-up question number one is in social sciences. Her name was removed from a German daycare center in 2023 as parents new to Germany either had never heard of this Jewish teenager or were hesitant to explain her story to their children. Identify this girl born in Germany but more famous for her time in Amsterdam. Anne Frank. That is correct. Your bonus is in literature. Answer these about works by black American author Richard Wright. Part A. This best known novel tells of the violent life of Bigger Thomas. Um, anyone. No. I, 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 yeah, I have not, like, Roots? 
That is not correct. The answer is Native Son. Okay. Part B. This nonfiction work, subtitled A Record of Childhood and Youth, tells of Wright's upbringing in the Jim Crow South. Um, I don't know. My, my life. That is not correct. The title was Black Boy. Black Boy. Toss-up number two is in science. Like the kidney, this organ can develop stones. If needed, this organ can be removed. Tonsils? That is not correct. I'll repeat the question for Fort Walton. Like the kidney, this organ can develop stones. If needed, this organ can be removed in a procedure called a cholecystectomy. Identify this organ just below your liver that stores excess bile from the liver that helps you to digest fats. Gallbladder. That is correct. Your bonus is in math. Pencils and paper ready. Give the derivatives of these expressions. Part A. 9x squared minus 14x plus 13. So it's just... 18x minus 14? 18x yeah, minus 14. Yeah, 18x minus 14. That is correct. Nice. Part B, cosine of 12x. It's just 12 cosines of no, negative, 12. Negative. negative 12 sines of 12x, right? Yes. Negative 12 sine 12x? That is correct. Nice. Okay, toss-up number three is in literature. One novel featuring this character tells of her house of dreams where she begins married life and has her first children. Later novels tell of this woman's youngest daughter, Bertha, whose middle name, Marilla, comes from the Miss Cuthbert who took this woman in when she was an orphan. Name this Canadian woman who marries Gilbert Blythe in a set of stories by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Emily. That is not correct. Jane Eyre. That is not correct. The answer was Anne Shirley Blythe, or Anne of Green Gables. Okay, toss-up number four is in math. When this digit repeats at the end of a rational number, it is rarely written because adding it as a repeating digit doesn't change the value of... Zero. That is correct. Bonus number four is in fine arts. Answer these about operas by Giuseppe Verdi. Part A. His opera, Aida, premiered in 1871 in this country where it is set. Sounds like Italy to me. Because uh, Verdi, right? Yeah. Anyone have better get Italy? I don't know. That is not correct. Uh, the set was Egypt. Oh. Egypt. Part B. This opera's title describes the Paris courtesan named Violetta who hopes her love for Alfredo will let her leave behind her former life. Her love for Alfredo, uh, the pasta lover. I don't know. <laughs> the pasta lover. That is not correct. It's La Traviata. Oh, darn. Number five toss-up question is in history. He served two terms representing Illinois in the U.S. House of Representatives before being selected for the U.S. Senate and helping to get the Compromise of 1850 passed. Identify this Democrat nicknamed the Little Giant who defeated Abraham Lincoln in his final re-election. Stephen Douglas? That is correct. Your bonus is in science. Pencils and paper ready. When one mole of lead for hydroxide, PB parenthesis OH parenthesis 4, is added to two moles of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, the result is one mole of lead sulfate, PB, parenthesis, SO4, parenthesis, 2, and X moles of water, H2O. Part A, give the value of X. It's just balancing. H2, the H's are, it's just one. Wait, no, because there's four, so it's um, six, four uh, is six, and so it's three. Three? That is not correct. The answer is four. Part B, how many moles of sulfuric acid are needed to create three moles of lead sulfate? Three moles of lead sulfate. Wait, you just multiply it, right? So, six. That is correct. Yeah, sorry, I should have done that. That's fine. Okay, toss-up question number six is in fine arts. 
Dr. William Thornton created the original design of this building while Benjamin Latrobe finished the second of its two wings. The five floors of this building include the Bermudi Corridors, the National Statuary Hall, the Rotunda, and the Old Senate Chamber. The Capitol? Can you be more specific? The Capitol Building of the United States. That is correct. Okay. Your bonus question is a miscellaneous subject. Name these movies from their 2023 sequels. Part A. This Stephen King horror story has a prequel called Bloodlines. I don't know. I don't remember any Stephen King uh, movies. That would, that would make sense. The only one I can think of is It. But no, it's not It. Sure. Pet Cemetery. That is correct. Nice. Part B, in the latest in this series, subtitled Armageddon, the children of the world's greatest secret agents unwittingly help a powerful game developer unleash a computer virus that gives him control of all technology. Anyone? Spy Kids. Sorry? Spy Kids. Yeah. Uh, defer to Eli. Oh. Uh, spy Kids. That's correct. Nice. Toss of number seven is in science. This element discovered by Berzelius in 1824 is named from the Latin for flint. Also found in the aerolite class of meteorites, this element makes up about one-fourth of Earth's crust by weight and is found in minerals like agate, flint, and the purple quartz known as amethyst. Identify this element whose doping creates transistors and other solid state electronic devices. Silicon? That is correct. Your bonus is in language arts. Give these words that came to English from Japanese. Part A, the cooking technique where gr chicken is grilled in sweet soy sauce. Um, is it oh, teriyaki, right? Yeah. Oh, teriyaki? That's correct. Oh, nice. Part B, a small wagon used as a taxi but pulled by a human instead of a machine. What? <laughs> I have, what, um, a pulley, <laughs> what, like what? It's like, a, uh, no it's like the people carrying the wheelbarrow. The people carrying the wheelbarrow thing. No, no. The answer was rickshaw. Almost. Yeah. Toss up number eight is a miscellaneous question. Okay. In 2023, this franchise began new versions in Poland, Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa to go along with its versions in England and Dubai. Identify this set of reality TV series about suburban women. Real Housewives? That is correct. Your bonus is in social sciences. Name these Greek gods. Part A, God of the Underworld. Hades. 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 Yes. Hades. 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 That is correct. Part B. This god of nature was half man, half goat. Pan. Pan. No. Uh, half man, half goat. Pan. 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 That is correct. <laughs> Toss of number nine is in literature. At the start of this novel, the protagonist is a slave girl named Ticey working on a Louisiana plantation near the end of the Civil War. A Yankee soldier stops for a drink of water and tells her she should replace her name with a more attractive one. By the end of this novel, she is well over 100 years old and telling her story to a teacher who interviews her for an oral history project. Name this Ernest Gaines novel. Uncle Tom's Cabin. That is not correct. Chains. That is not correct. It's the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. Toss-up number 10 is in math. Pencils and paper ready. Scarlett is 31 years older than her daughter Susanna. How old is Susanna now if the sum of their ages is 49? So X. 18. That is not correct. The answer was nine. Nine. Okay, that's the end of our first half. We'll be back in a moment with our scores.
Welcome back. We have a halftime score of Choctahatchee High School 25 for Walton Beach High School 120. We have no substitution, so we'll move on to question number 11 in social sciences. Investopedia says that creating one of these is like getting an insurance policy. To perform this action as part of diversification, a portfolio holder often keeps precious metals or government bonds. Give the five-letter term for this defensive... Hedge? Yes, that is correct. Your bonus is a miscellaneous question. Complete these album titles by the Canadian singer Drake. Part A. Blank lover boy. Certified. Yes, certified. 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 That is correct. Part B. Honestly, blank. Honestly, never mind. Wait, actually? Never mind. Okay, um, never mind. That is correct. We're cooking. All right, number 12 is in fine arts. This work dedicated to Prince Lobkowitz and Count Rasumovsky premiered on the same night in 1808 as its composer, Pastoral Symphony, that was composed later. Give both the German composer of and the number of this symphony in C minor, best known for its first four notes that... Beethoven and fifth. Yes, that's correct. That's exactly right. Bonus number 12 is in literature. This author's novels include Mole Flanders and the nonfiction sounding Journal of the Plague Year. Part A. Name this British author of the early 1700s. Jeffrey Chaucer. That is not correct. The answer was Daniel Defoe. Part B. Which of his novels begins, I was born in the year 1632 in the city of York of a good family, though not of that country? No idea. Mm. None. Mm -mm. Robinson Crusoe was the answer. Okay. Toss of 13 is in science. Earthshine can sometimes be seen before and after one of these occurrences. The second one of these in a month is called a black moon. A full moon? No, that is not correct. A lunar eclipse? No, that is not correct. The answer was new moon. New moon. Okay, toss up number 14 is in language arts. When John tried to pick a fight with the bouncer at a dance club, the bouncer knocked John on his bottom, picked him up, and then unceremoniously threw John out the door. Spell the adverb unceremoniously. U-N-C-E-R-E-M-O-N-I-O-U-S-L-Y. That is correct. Bonus 14 is in science. Name these components of human blood. Part A. This type of blood cell can be refrigerated for six weeks before being given to someone else. Is it red or white? Red. Is it, okay, red blood cell? That is correct. Part B, this makes up just over half of our blood, brings sodium and potassium to muscles, and can be frozen for up to a year. Um, it's not white blood cells, because it, then blood would appear white. It's like, I don't know, water. <laughs> okay, glucose? That is not correct. The answer is plasma. Oh. Toss up number 15 is in history. Today, this man's name means legislator or a wise and skillful lawgiver. Considered one of his city state's seven wise men, this man left Athens for 10 years after reforming the city's government. Name this ancient Greek statesman who repeat. Democritus? That is not correct. I'll repeat the question for Fort Walton. Today, this man's name means legislator or a wise and skillful lawgiver. Considered one of his city-state's seven wise men, this man left Athens for 10 years after reforming the city's government. Name this ancient Greek statesman who repealed most of Draco's harsh laws and freed those enslaved by debt.
like Alexander the Great? <laughs> no, that is not correct. It is Solon. Solon. Okay, toss of number 16 is a miscellaneous question. Often cooked on a plate called komal, this object is commonly made from one of two materials. One of those materials is often seen in enchiladas and tostadas, while the other... Tortilla. That is correct. Nice. Your bonus is in social sciences. Name these U.S. states from their lowest points above sea level. Part A. Beaver Dam Wash at its border with Arizona. So just one of the states. It's either California or Nevada or Utah or like New Mexico. Any, any guesses? No, um, Time. That's it, California. That is not correct, and the answer was Utah. Oh. Part B, where the Mississippi River meets the Des Moines River. In Iowa, probably. I Iowa? That is correct. Okay. Toss up number 17 is in math. Though this transformation can be performed with symmetrical polygons, standardized tests usually only test this transformation with circles because circles have a very clear center point. Identify this transformation that causes a figure to be spun up to 360 degrees. Rotation. That is correct. Your bonus is in science. Name these parts of a flower. Part A. This part consists of an anther and a filament. Stamen. 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 That is correct. Part B, this part consists of a stigma, a style, and an ovary. Pistol. 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 That is correct. Toss up 18 is in social sciences. Landmarks in this state include the Lost City Museum, the Valley of Fire, Pyramid Lake, Mormon Station. Missouri. That is not correct. I'll repeat the question for Choctaw. Landmarks in this state include the Lost City Museum, the Valley of Fire, Pyramid Lake, Mormon Station, the Fly Geyser in Washoe County, the Ward Charcoal Ovens near Ely, and the Virginia City Historic District, which U.S. state also has Great Basin National Park, Sloan Canyon near Henderson. Utah. That is not correct. The answer is Nevada. Nevada. Toss-up 19 is in history. This man who established the White House Library was the first chancellor of the State University of New York at Buffalo while also serving as president. Jefferson. That is not correct. I'll repeat the question for Fort Walton. This man who established the White House Library was the first chancellor of the State University of New York at Buffalo while also serving as president. He created the Utah Territory while president, but was considered a Confederate supporter during the Civil War. Name this last Whig to serve as president who was succeeded by Franklin Pierce and who got the job after the death of Zachary Taylor in 1850. Millard Fillmore? Yes, that is correct. Your bonus is in social sciences. Answer these about succession to the U.S. presidency if the president dies. Part A. After the vice president, this congressional position is next, a position Republicans struggled to fill in the fall of 2023. The Speaker of the House. That is correct. Part B. After that, the next person is the U.S. Senator, usually with the longest tenure, who holds his position and supervises the Senate when the vice president is gone. The president pro tempore of the Senate? Yes, that is correct. Toss-up 20 is in social sciences. The Zagros Mountains bisect this country while this country's capital city is at the foot of the Elbers Mountains. This country borders both the Persian Gulf and the Caspian Sea and... Iran? That is correct. Your bonus is in history. Answer these about Benjamin Franklin. Part A. At age 12, Ben was apprenticed to an older brother to learn this trade, which included the brother's publication of a newspaper. Printing. 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 Yes, that's correct. 
Part B. For 25 years, Franklin published this work each year that gave us sayings like, Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Poor Richard's Almanac. Defer to Asher. Poor Richard's Almanac. That is correct. That's the match. Okay, that's the end of the match. We'll be back in a moment with our final score. We have a final score of Choctahatchee High School 85, Fort Walton Beach High School 210. Thank you to all the students who participated in today's match and thank you viewers for tuning in to watch this exciting event. We'd also like to thank our corporate sponsors, Microsystems Incorporated and Master Wall Incorporated. Stay tuned next time for further tournament action. Thank you and good night.